Hey, this is Eric with Program with Eric.com, and today we're going to talk a little about hoisting, JavaScript hoisting. So, uh, if you want to hear, see more information about that, you can definitely look up the ECMAScript standards, look through the documentation to figure out some more information about it, about the standards. But we're going to do a quick example here. So, let's say we have a variable, we'll have it b, and we'll equal it uh, 1. And if we do console log b, as you expect, we save it here, open my console, we'll get 1. Uh, as you can see in the console here, 1. So that's not very interesting, but what happens if we take this var b equals 1 and we put it after the console.log, like this. So we save that, we'll try it again, and we'll get undefined, which is interesting. So what happens if we get rid of var b, b equals 1 altogether and then save it? Well, now we get b is not defined. So why is it then when we have var b equals 1 here that we get undefined, but when we have it, uh, we don't have it all together, then we get undefined, uh, we get b is not defined. Well, for for the way the JavaScript works is actually, it does something called hoisting, and and it's the same basically as if we went var b equal here, and then b equals 1 here is essentially what it's doing. So it's getting defined at the top. It takes the variable definition and it hoists it or puts it at the top. Now I believe technically if you look at the ECMAScript standard, it's the way it interprets the, the JavaScript file. It looks at the variable definitions first. But for the sake of simplicity, we'll just assume that it's hoisting it to the top like this. And that's why when you have a variable defined, uh, variable declared at the top, it's going to come up as undefined if you haven't done anything with it. So that's a good thing to keep in, in mind. And so uh, best practices is usually put in anything you're doing is put to declare the variables at the top. It's probably the best idea. Now if you're looking at functions, so let's say we have a function, Eric, and we console log hello world and then we run Eric. Let's see what happens here. Clear it. Alright, we get hello world as we expect. But one thing you'll notice if we take Eric here and we put it above the function and we save it. We run it. We still get hello world, and just to make sure that we're doing this world, we get hello world Eric. We'll save it again. Clear. We'll run it, and we still get hello world Eric. So the same thing happens for functions. They get hoisted uh, at the top of the uh, definition as well. They'll they'll get hoisted to the top as well. So this is the same thing as if we had function here. So essentially, it's the same thing. Now, there's one, there's quite a bit more to go over here, but we'll just one more thing to keep in mind. Let's say you have a function expression. So I had var x equals function Eric, and then I have x. We save it. We run again. We get hello world Eric, as we expect. I just change this to hello world fe. We still get hello world fe. But now, if you're thinking we it uh, functions get hoist as well, you would assume maybe this would work. But if we save it here and we run it again, we get undefined as not a function. So what's really happening since it's a function expression? It is hoisting it, but it doesn't hoist. It just hoists the top, like um, just the declaration to the top, like this. It doesn't actually hoist the whole function if you do this function expression. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So best practices in JavaScript: define all your variables at the top, and then define all your functions afterwards, 
and then you can use them anywhere as you please. So that's just a few quick tips on JavaScript and hoisting. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks. And also, uh, take a look at the links below. There's a link to my mailing list. You can subscribe and get more JavaScript tips and tricks. Thanks.